Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to check out how we can use the for each loop with associative arrays. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor. It's called for each underscore asoc.php. And on line number six in the file, I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 22, I have the closing PHP tag. And in between the opening and closing tags, I have some code, which seems to be complicated, but trust me, it's really easy. We're going to just, you know, cruise through this. So I have created an array on line number uh, seven in the file. I've, uh, you know, given the name ARR to the variable and uh, I've used the array function. And this one actually has two associated arrays. So, you know, the first array has the fields name, country and rank, and uh, it's for Roger Federer. So, you know, the name key takes the value Roger Federer, the country key takes the value Switzerland and the rank key takes the value three. And uh, we've already discussed how to create associative arrays, so I'm not going to discuss the syntax of, uh, you know, this. And then I have a comma after the closing parenthesis of the first array function within the uh, array function for the variable ARR. And then I have uh, created another associative array. And this one again has the same uh, keys. So name, country and rank are the three keys, but the values are for Rafael Nadal. So name is Rafael Nadal and country is Spain and rank is two, right? So after creating the uh, array variable, I now want to see the values on screen. So I want to see details of Roger Federer and I also want to see details of Rafael Nadal. And this is an example as close to real life as possible. So, you know, let's say you have uh, enrolled in a course and there are 30 people who are taking the course with you and you have, uh, you know, information about them. So you have their names, you have their contact numbers, you have their email addresses, you have their uh, genders and you have, uh, you know, like uh, their age. So you have all those values with you and you've created one associative array in which there are fields for each of those attributes, right? So you have an attribute called name, you have a field called age and gender and so on. And you have corresponding values for all 30 people. And now you want to write a PHP program to display all those values on screen. So you can do that conveniently using the for each loop. And as I said in the last tutorial, the for each loop has been designed to work with arrays. So in this case, since we have two arrays within an array variable, we've got two associative arrays within uh, the uh, array variable ARR, we'll have to use the for each loop twice. And this is called nesting of loops. So just as you can nest uh, if statements within if statements, you can also nest loops within loops. And this is applicable not just to the for each loop, but also to the for loop and the while loop, right? So the first for each statement on line number 13 takes the name of the array variable, which is $ARR as the first uh, value. And then we have the keyword as, and then the placeholder variable, which is $var in this case, I've called it $var. And uh, you know, this uh, for each statement is going to move over the individual arrays in the variable ARR. So it's going to first move over this array, and then it's going to move over this array. So you know, this variable dollar var is going to take array values and not normal element values because the individual elements in this array variable are actually array values. You know, they're not normal elements, they're uh, array values. So, uh, you know, I have the opening uh, curly brace for the first for each statement on line number 14 and the closing curly brace on line number 21. And, you know, indentation is again, something that's very important. You know, you need to make sure that your opening and cu closing curly braces for statements are on the same uh, level as far as the indentation is concerned. And then inside this for each statement, I have another for each statement on line number 15. And this one gets the value dollar var as the array value. And that's because, you know, the uh, placeholder variable dollar var is going to take in this array in the first iteration. Uh, and then it's going to take in this array as the you know array value in the next iteration. So I hope I'm making sense. And the way you work with associative arrays in PHP. So, you know, this array is actually not an associative array. You know, the variable ARR is a normal array which has associative arrays as elements. So, you th but the variable dollar $var is going to take in associative arrays as values. So, you know, this is actually what we are going to discuss. You know, this is something that we haven't seen till now. So you type in your uh, array variable name, then you type in the keyword as, 
and then you have to type in something like this so now you have to type in two placeholder uh, variable name so the first one I have called attribute and you could call it anything and the second one is called info and in between these you have the same characters as you have between the keys and values in associative arrays which is the equal to symbol and the greater than symbol right and then in the body of this for each loop I have an echo statement first which is going to display the uh, attribute uh, name first so it's going to display name and country and rank and I have enclosed this within the opening and closing bold tags so you know this is going to be displayed in bold and then I have a colon and then I have uh, you know displayed the info uh, variable value so in case of this array it's going to display Roger Federer for name and then Switzerland for country and three for rank and in case of Rafael Nadal it's going to display Rafael Nadal for name Spain for country and two for rank right and then finally I have an echo statement that's going to output the break tag so that we see details of Roger Federer and then we have a you know a, a, a new line and then on the next line we see details for Rafael Nadal so I'm going to save this file and in my browser I'm going to request for the file for each underscore ASOC when I press the enter key this is what I see so I see the uh, key va key names in bold so I see name in bold and then I see the value for name uh, Roger Federer I see country in bold value for it Switzerland rank in bold and the value for it three and uh, then on the next to next line I see details for Rafael Nadal so you know this is how you work with associative arrays using the for each loop and uh, you know in case this was a complicated example and you want me to you know uh, illustrate something else to you something simpler then you know you can uh, send me a message and maybe I'll uh, create a script file and uh, you know just email to you or maybe I'll record another tutorial you know in case this was uh, complicated thank you so much for watching this lesson I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting and important again for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care